Joining me now is Texas State Senator Roland Gutierrez. Senator Gutierrez, I'd like to get your reaction, sir, to this horrific shooting and why you might think that officials have yet to make public anything about the suspect. I mean, victims, I understand, families need to be notified, but are you hearing anything about that? Well, Alex, we've tried to reach out. We've tried to find out at least ages and uh, a little bit some identifiers as to who the the uh, victims are. We've received no no such information. Uh, we're understanding that a press conference should be uh, undertaken very soon, and hopefully, we'll be able to get more information. I just want to compare. You know, you asked me about how I'm feeling. I mean, this is this is horrendous. It's deja vu all over again. I want to compare with that gentleman in the cowboy hat that was there that witnessed that little girl with without a face. Uh -huh. uh, those are images that, that we've seen in Uvalde that I've seen on body cams in Uvalde. But compare what he said to what Abbott, Governor Abbott said on Fox News earlier, saying, look, this is a mental health crisis. This is a mental health problem. This is a problem that is unique to the United States, more unique to Texas, and this governor has done nothing at all to solve the common denominator, which is access to guns in the hands of mentally ill people. Clearly, nobody gets up in the morning, no criminal says, I'm going to do this. Most of the people that do and undertake these types of mass shootings have no criminal history. Greg Abbott is completely wrong. He is completely misguided and he has completely failed the people of Texas. Strong words right there, you are not wrong. And you wrote a particularly pointed tweet last night, I'm gonna share it with our viewers, saying this, there is a special place in hell for people who watch all this happen and choose to do nothing. Hashtag blood on their hands. So look, this shooting comes barely a week after five people were shot and killed in Cleveland, Texas. You've called out the governor. Who else needs to be called out here? Well, listen, the governor, Dan Patrick, Ted Cruz, last week they blamed it on an, on an immigrant with an AR-15. Well, how the hell did the immigrant with the AR, how the hell did that guy get the AR-15? He got it because of the loose gun laws that these people have put into place. There is not a Democrat or a Republican out there that thinks that it's common sense to allow someone to walk down Congress Avenue in Austin, Texas, or any other street with an AR-15 and not even have a policeman ask him a question as to what he's doing, because that's the state of the law in Texas. You can walk around with your AR fully loaded and nobody can even ask you a question. That is the chaos that Greg Abbott, Dan Patrick, and others have created in this state. That's their chaos and they need to own this. The anniversary of the shooting at Robb Elementary in Uvalde County inside of your district, one of the deadliest shootings ever at a Texas public school. As you know, it's coming up at the end of the month and you've repeatedly introduced legislation, four sets of bills addressing gun safety. Talk about the kinds of laws that need to be passed to help prevent these shootings from happening and might one of them have prevented what happened yesterday had it been in place. Well, you know, yesterday, clearly we filed extreme protective order laws you'd have to imagine that this person was mentally ill. Uh, if he had made threats to others, if others had known of his possession of firearms, an extreme risk protective order, as is in the place in Florida, by the way, where they've executed 9,000 of these, they've all, they've worked well. Law enforcement is greatly in favor of it. Um, you know, we don't know how old this person is to see if the age limit would have changed anything. Universal background checks. We don't know how he obtained the gun. We don't know. There's so much that we don't know already at, at, at this time. Uh, and sadly, at the pace that Texas law enforcement goes, may not ever know. But we have to be able to get this information so we can avoid this from happening again. We have three weeks before the legislative uh, session ends. We can do age limit increases to 21. We can do extreme risk protective orders and we can do close the gun show loophole where everybody gets a gun. We don't even have to show a license in Texas. That's how pathetic our gun laws are at gun shows. Yeah. May I quickly, sir, get your response to Representative Key Self, a Republican Congressman representing Allen in response <coughs> to asking people who feel prayers aren't enough. Self said, quote, well, those are people that don't believe in an almighty God who is absolutely in control of our lives.
What, yeah, I said this earlier. Look, the God I believe in gives us free will. He allows us to make our own decisions. And he allows lawmakers to make laws that make sense to protect people. You know, the Bible says to, you know, respect those that are in power, those that are in elected office, because, uh, you know, they're supposed to have wisdom and so on. There's not a whole lot of wisdom in the Texas House. And clearly there's not a whole lot of wisdom in Congressman Self's uh, identification or understanding of the Bible. We have a lot of work to do. We're broken in this country. Yeah. We have allowed the chaos that is happening is happening because Republicans like him and others in Congress and in our Texas Capitol have allowed this chaos continue. More guns does not equal less crime. It is clear now that more guns equals more crime. And that is on the Republican Party.